Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at rotating patterns in Photoshop. Now if you're using Photoshop 2021 or later then you have a feature built in that is new to that version and it makes rotating patterns really simple. So what I did was I went ahead and created this gingham pattern. Now I've created it and I've saved it. So let's switch off to a brand new document. There are typically three ways that you can fill a document with a pattern and I'm going to show you the way not to use because that doesn't have the rotation built in. When you choose edit and then fill and then go to the pattern option, you'll see that whilst you can select a pattern, I'm going to select the pattern that I just created, there is no rotation option for that. In addition, that process just fills the layer with the pattern at its regular size. There's no sizing option either. So it's my least recommended way of filling a document with a pattern. I'm just going to undo that. Let's go ahead and look at the other two ways that do have this option built in. I'm going to choose layer and then new fill layer and pattern. I'm just going to click OK here at this first dialog. I'm going to click the drop down arrow and select my pattern. This is a change in Photoshop. It used to default using this dialog to the last created pattern. It doesn't do that any longer. So you're going to have to select the pattern. But you can see here we've got two options. This one is brand new to Photoshop 2021. This has been here all along. So I'm going to scale this differently. I'm going to bring it down to 50% size. We can increase or decrease the the size of the pattern using this dialogue. That's why I like it in particular. Now we can also rotate it. So if I want my pattern on a 45 degree angle, I can do that as I'm filling my layer with the pattern. And of course, this is fully editable. So I can double click here and I can change it. So if I think it's too small, I can increase the size. If I don't like that rotation, I can change the rotation. So you've got a lot of flexibility with this particular process. Let's just rotate it to 60%. You can see that that gives us a lot of choices. Let's turn that off and let's have a look at the third method. And the third method I'm actually going to apply to this layer here. So let me just unlock it. I'm going to the FX icon and I'm going to choose Pattern Overlay. This brings up the layer style menu and we've got pattern overlay options here. So again, we can select the pattern from the selector here. We can change its scale so we can reduce the scale here if we want to. And we can also change the angle. And again, because this is applied using a layer style, it's fully editable. So you can just come in here, double click on this to reopen the dialogue, make the changes that you want to make, and then just click OK to save that. So there are the ways that you can fill a document with a pattern. My least recommended is from the edit menu because it just doesn't give you any flexibility at all. And then of course, you've got the option of using a fill layer to fill it with a pattern or you can apply a pattern overlay. Before we finish up this video, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Photoshop of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.